Hey everyone, how are you today? Welcome back to the weekly Facebook live show I call The Yap. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kristen Hewitt. I'm a freelance television reporter here in South Florida and a writer, and I'm super excited to introduce my guest today, guys. Look who's here. Hey. There he is. It's Daniel Ewan Henderson. He is the, I have to properly introduce you, Daniel. I have to give you like, you know, he is the viral self-help vlogger from Scotland who I know many of my friends like because I scoped out your page last night and everyone likes your videos. So oh. hi, Dan. How are you today? I'm amazing. I'm amazing. I just got back from the gym there, so I'm feeling really pumped up and happy and everything's feeling good. Life is good. Yes. How are you? I'm good. It's actually raining here in South Florida uh, right now as we speak. It's one o'clock here. It's uh, 6 p.m. where you are in Scotland, right? 6 p.m., yep. It's uh, raining here also. I mean, it's Scotland, so that's no surprise, but yeah. <laughs> so it always rains in Scotland. See, now Scotland's on my bucket list of places to go. Yeah, I mean, it's not always rainy. Really, like, it depends where you go. Like, it just appears to be, like, wet quite, quite often. Quite often. <laughs> well, Daniel, so first of all, I want to just tell people how I kind of met you. My podcasting partner, Tova Lee, um, and you did a Facebook Live uh, together. You guys kind of met. Um, yeah. And I was very jealous that Tova didn't... Um, include me in that pajama party <laughs> yeah no we had we had a, the best time ever honestly i couldn't have she was so helpful and she was so hospitable honestly the i was just so happy to be there it's nice right. to be in london as well yeah yeah i bet all right daniel people want to know about you now i went on your facebook page last night i watched a lot of your videos i watched how you started doing videos but if you could just kind of share um, what made you decide to do these videos and start your Facebook page that now has over a million followers? And what was your first video? So the first video that I did um, was years ago. Like I've always had an interest in making videos and acting and, you know, ent entertaining people, making people laugh. And um, so the first thing that I did was I did a video. It was like a silly parody um, of Gangnam Style years ago. And it was just like silly, just with friends. And I got a good reaction. People said, you should make more videos. So I thought, I'm going to start making, you know, funnier videos. Then I started from the funny videos to going into more positive videos. And then I started my page, which was obviously Daniel Ewan Henderson. And the first video that I did that was positive was a video called um, Your Imperfections Are Your Perfections. And it was just, I was going through, I think I'd, I'd been rejected quite often. Um, and I was just going through a really insecure time. And I was like, Do you know what, I've got a lot to give. So I'm sure there's a lot of other people in the same boat as me and they're probably overlooked or people just kind of see them as, you know, they're, they're looking for more superficial qualities in people. So I thought, do you know what, I'm going to do these videos. I want people to actually see the value in themselves. And from, from doing that, I actually saw the value in my own self from the comments section, which is awesome. <laughs> it can be bad though, but of course. it's awesome. So. Yeah. So you've kind of grown yourself by doing this. It's kind of helped you through your self journey. Honestly, it's it's one of the things that I would recommend. Like if you're wanting to go out there and get a little bit more self esteem, I mean, if you're wanting to get a little bit less self esteem, it's also you know it's a fast road to that as well from the bad comments. But it toughened me up big time, and it made me realize who the people in this planet are that that really are nice and that they're scattered everywhere. You know, they may be the silent majority, but the silent majority really, really wants peace and happiness in the world. And that's what I want. I want to make everyone smile just a little bit more during their day. And that's it. That's that's the bottom line of it. I want people to be happy in the world and not hate themselves. And that's interesting because you said you wanted to be an actor. So what is it? I mean, we don't know a lot about you, right? We've met your brother through your videos and you take us on your travels. But what is it that you do for a living or that you want to do for a living? Do you still aspire to be an actor? I would love to be an actor. Like, that's one of the things, like, um, I, currently I'm not, like, in any productions. But, you know, I've, I've been thinking about going back to do a little bit of theatre because theatre is so fun. It's I love, I love like collaborations with people from um you know when when you go to like theater schools you have all sorts of amazing people so that's another thing that I would recommend people do like theater schools are awesome places to get your confidence up and find yourself and stretch yourself to to learn new little accents and stuff like that and um, yeah acting is 
is one of the passions that I've always had. Um, yeah. So are you, do you work though? Like what do you do to make a living? I said, you said you work on the weekends. I work in the weekends. Yeah. I would just do bar work. Um, so I do bar work at the weekends. That's, that's just a constant thing that I've always done. I actually enjoyed it. I used to do cocktail master classes for hen parties. So you, really? just... so you could flip around all the stuff. Yeah, I used to do that and I used to, like, it was my own little business that I'd started and then um, I started making videos and, you know, started, I started gearing more towards, putting my attention more towards continuing the video up. and so I kind of, that fell away, but I didn't work for maybe a year um, because of, like, I got quite social anxiety from doing the video, so I was getting noticed and it was really shy a little bit. And I didn't want to go back into the working environment where people in public would have free reign to point at me and say whatever they like. So, um, yeah, it took me a year of not working to finally work up the strength again to go back. And, you know, now I've got a part time job, which I love. I just do it because, you know, it's really fun and um, it also helps pay the bills even more and stuff, you know. So, of course. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting to hear, though, that you said you have a little bit of social anxiety because you wouldn't think I that. I did have. It was just a little chapter in my life where I kind of wanted to overcome this. Um, I, and I, I did. I've, I think I've overcame it quite well. Um, it was just because, purely because of the videos. Because I went from a place of like getting noticed for good and then I got noticed for bad. And I kind of, it was quite hard to, to leave your house when you know like maybe somebody might not like you or like you and you don't know if they're laughing at you because you think that you're amazing and they think you're funny or they're laughing at you because they think you're ridiculous so that was the kind of conflict I was going through for maybe a full year and wow I've overcame it now so <laughs> good for you no and I know and I know that the industry now you're in with making these videos it makes it difficult I mean I work on television and I know I mean I know how you feel people recognize you you wonder if they like you or you don't I think the key that all of us though learn as we get older is it doesn't matter just yeah, be yourself be yeah. who you want to be I wouldn't want to be anyone but me and I wouldn't want the people that watch my videos to be anyone but themselves and that's it's kind of given me more strength to to actively preach about this kind of thing as well because you know you've got to love yourself you do it's a must even when people say that you're ridiculous who cares <laughs> who cares you know that's, that's true I'm 40 uh, I'm 40 something and I still uh, have a hard time saying I love myself so it's nice to hear that from you all right so you have over a million Facebook fans and yeah. which has got to be so humbling what is your reaction to that and do you feel a sense of responsibility now when you put content out there that you have so many people following you okay so firstly a million subscribers it's it's quite like wow a million people like every single little number is an person and their little individual families that show their to their mum and dad and then when you see messages from them saying hey my family sits around and we wait whenever you post a video we sit around and we wait for each other before watching it um, and and that's really touching because it makes me I do feel like a responsibility because say for example me and my family have maybe an actor like it used to be Robin Williams me and my dad would watch Robin Williams films Patch Adams uh, Mrs Doubtfire and we'd watch all these things because we thought you know it was like a it was like a bonding moment. It was like something that we we all looked forward to, and to feel like um that for another family. I want to keep doing you know positive things, so I never go into the the slippery spiral of doing a negative video or or anything like that. I just want to keep it purely positive because that's what they know about me and that's who they who they kind of um, relate with. So positivity all the way is that's the, my main goal is just to make families happy. Because families go through a lot of stuff, you know, and I get so many messages. And I actually have worked up a lot of relationships with my fans now as well. So it's not just, you know, people watching my videos. It's actually connections and it's a community. And I love that. That is, that's so wonderful to hear. And one of the things I noticed a lot is you talk a lot of two women in your videos, right? You have yeah. a lot of respect for women. Um, you don't have any sisters, right? You have a brother. I only have a brother. Um, and I've got a beautiful mother as well. <laughs> a big inspiration to me I think that's my mum's my mum's been the biggest inspiration to me with, with regards to respecting women actually well my dad as well because my dad always brought me up to be really respectful of my mother so if I ever shouted at my mum it was like my dad would you know he'd come down on me he'd be like hey you no stop that just he's always been 
he's he's always taught me to respect women and yeah so that's something so is that why you focus so much on women um women's issues in your videos because you do talk a lot to women out there yeah not entirely i think it's because i get more um more of a response from women i've done i've tried to do videos for guys in the past when i had my old page and there was guys that even they didn't really respond to it there was maybe one or two but that's definitely one thing that i'm going to really focus on is because guys get it hard as well and there's I think that's what it is. When I seen that there was no videos for for my self esteem, I kind of wanted to put out videos for other people's self esteem. So it would be quite nice that there was another, just an, another individual like myself that's sitting in on a rainy day, feeling really, really, really bad about themselves, and then I give them that little spark or that little bit of encouragement to, you know, push on to the next level. That's so. Guys, I would love to. If there's any guys that see this, I hope that they realize that I'm going to do some videos for them as well because we get it hard too. <laughs> well, well, I know the ladies like you because you don't often wear a shirt. So first of all, thank you for wearing a shirt for me today. <laughs> yeah, I don't always um, go topless. I mean, people think that. So what is that? Is that a marketing ploy? Are you proud of your body or both? Why, yeah. why the shirt videos? I'm proud of my body before. I actually used to be so scared to take my top off in public and... It's, I think it was just a kind of challenge for myself. Just So I started, I did one video with my top off and it was comfortable and I was in my house and I felt at home and it got more response. And I was like, hey, do you know what? Why not? If people are going to view it because they're like either, you know, it might just brighten up their day. So if they're going to view it more and see that I've got a top list, then that's good. But now it's more of a kind of, it's like a trademark. I don't even know. It's like, um, it's a concept yes. kept up. Um, and people have seen that constant and it's always up for a topic of discussion and people you see people arguing about it in the comments section it's great I love it just yeah no I mean it is your trademark I mean people know you you even have it on your YouTube channel as your you know you holding that flower as your uh your yeah. profile picture so people associate Daniel the Scottish guy with the shirtless videos I was just wondering why you did it so where do you go from here I mean you have a million fans you you've got this platform now what the big question is, what are you going to do with it? I mean, I know you want to help people, but what's next? Are you going to tour? Are you going to motivational speak? Exactly. What's next? Yeah, motivational speaking. I did my first one in Ireland. I've been invited to do another one in Ireland coming up in near around about Christmas time. But that is the one thing that I really like. Because when I went up to Ireland, I was like... Oh, your phone's ringing. <laughs> That's Okay. <laughs> Happens all the time, right, guys? Hey, if anybody's watching that has any questions for Daniel, uh, let me know he, while he takes his call. He'll be right back. But if you have any questions for him, um, we're talking to Daniel Ewan Henderson in Scotland, who's talking okay. about his first uh, motivational speaking. I, I filled there for you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so you, so you did your first speaking gig in Ireland. You're going to go back. Do you have any plans to come here to the United States ever? One. Yes, I want to go to... The USA and meet all of the beautiful fans that have been so loyal to me um, and it's going to be pr probably pretty soon even if it's not for a public speaking event I'd kind of like to do like even a meet up a meet and greet and just get to see I wonder how many people would turn up but you know I might be shocked I might be like <laughs> I'll say hey meet me at Central Park at 4 p.m and there's like a whole group of people but that would be so nice to meet the, the people that I've touched and continue to inspire and and hopefully these people will actually take what I've said in my videos and they take that on for their future children I've seen a lot of uh, ladies saying that their their sons watch my videos I, I feel great about it I feel like I want to actually actively go out and help people so go and visit people that are you know maybe going through a rough time and surprise them for that would be something I'd like to do um the only thing that's been stopping me getting over to America has been like obviously finances and stuff like that because I'm not made of money. <laughs> but I'd like to be I'd like to be able to be comfortable to just get over there and um, meet meet everybody. That's well, with a million Facebook fans, we'll be happy to talk to you off camera and help you figure out ways to monetize that. But uh, and if you do come to the U.S., you have to come to Miami. Are you My, a sports fan? Am I what sports? A fan. sports fan. Yes. What's your sport? Yeah. Soccer over here yeah but I, yeah. I'm not a great hunter though I support my local team 
Well, I work for the Miami Heat, so we'll have to get you to a basketball game if you ever come down here. Oh, really? By the way, I'm, yeah. not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not that good at basketball, but I'll definitely give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, I want to ask you one more question before I let you go. Um, you did a video once about your accent and about being Scottish, and you said that Scottish people hate the way other Scottish people sound. What does that mean? Okay, so it's the cringe factor, right? So, for example, in media, there's not so many Scottish accents. And when there is, sometimes it's quite funny or whatever. So, like, for example, Shrek, Mrs. Doubtfire. It's Scottish accents played by American celebrities or characters. So whenever we actually see Scottish people, well, Jared Butler is, is good. Ewan McGregor is good. Uh, James McAvoy is good. But whenever we see interviews on television and it's a really, really strong Scottish accent, there's a cringe factor there. And it's just because we don't hear it often and like you know so whenever there's like you'll hear a wee lady and she'll be like that's disgusting <laughs> we just we all just we're just like oh no oh no um, i'm trying to i'm trying to do like a lot of people will say hey his scottish accent isn't a proper glaswegian accent because a glaswegian accent's got to be a little bit more rough around the edges but it's i'm c trying to get away from the cringe and more of the the scottish get the Scottish accent out there even more, you know, because it is a good accent. I like it. I'm proud of it. I'm so proud to be Scottish. Um, and it's kind of like a lot of Irish, a lot of uh, Irish people get offended when people say that I sound Irish. I get, oh, I don't get offended, but I think it's funny when people say, you know, your Irish accent. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, it's just, oh, but, you know, you just got to deal with it. I do a video now and again about it. So, well, I um, love your videos, so keep making them. I couldn't show them all to my daughters, of course, because there is there is some inappropriate language sometimes. But if people want to follow you, I'm going to put up your YouTube channel. It's just your name, right? Daniel Ewan Henderson. Okay, awesome. Thank and, you. and people can find you on Instagram at Daniel Henderson 70, right? I got That's it right. Um, so follow Daniel. I can't wait to see where this all takes you. I was always curious to see what you were going to do with this, and I hope you make it to the States. And uh, thank you so much for chatting with us. Stay with me, though. Don't hang up yet. I want to talk to you afterwards. And thank you, everyone, for watching. You can follow Daniel on Facebook at Daniel Ewan Henderson. And we will see you next week. And, guys, if you, you guys had a chance to ask Daniel questions, we had a couple people write in, uh, Daniel, while we were talking, but no one asked you any questions. So, okay. um I'll ask him to share this as well, but say bye to everyone, Daniel. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. All right. Have a great day, everybody. We'll talk to you later.